Hi everybody, it's Kimberly here, and oh, I'm so exhausted, and I'm sort of mad, I guess. I'm not in a good mood. I uh, feel horrible, and I'm, uh, okay, I was, I had a flat tire yesterday, and I was driving away from my house, and I felt like my car was kind of lopsided or something, and I was like, what the? And so I pulled over and I jumped out and had a flat tire or almost flat. It was like maybe a couple inches from the ground. I was like, okay. So I turned back around and went back to my house. And by it was Sunday, so I couldn't do anything. Living in a small town, can't do anything on Sunday night. And um, it by midnight it was flat, completely flat. I took my dog out and it was flat and. So this morning, um, I called all the places around town, and we only have a few places that can fix a tire or can come and air it up, or because I didn't have an air pump and nobody else didn't have any uh, air, you know, that I could use. None of my neighbors or anybody, and so I called my nephew. He came from about he had to drive about 15 miles to get here. And he aired it up with his air compressor, and I found one shop that was, see, in the small town, some people, they have these little shops, but they don't open because they work a full-time job, and they don't open until the evening, and they'll work, you know, in the afternoon, or six, like six o'clock to like nine or ten. And I found this one shop that um, they said they could, well, they were very, very busy, but they they could fix it. I wanted a tire patched, and they or the girl at the counter. I asked her, um, "How long will it take?" And I think it was around ten o'clock in the morning when we finally got it aired up and over there. And by the time we drove around, I went to a couple places, you know, at first, and then well, this place. I had to. I wanted to make sure the ones closest, if they the ones closest to my house if they could fix it and they weren't open none were open and so I had to take it about a mile or two miles down the road I mean, more like about two or three miles I guess on the side of the highway and so I left it there and then we went to go eat lunch and I asked her you know when would be ready and she said well in a little while and are we talking like three or four in the afternoon or like how long she goes oh well maybe just maybe a few hours so I was like, okay, I'll come back after lunch. And so we went to go eat, and then we came back about an hour and a half later, and they hadn't gotten to it, and the guy, I guess the guy who owns the shop, or he was there writing out a receipt or doing something, and I was asking about the tr my truck, the flat tire, and, oh, we're just so busy. I just haven't gotten to it. I don't know when. And I was like, okay. And uh, he goes, I'll call you. I'll call you when it's ready. I was like, all right. And so my nephew took me home, and... He left, and uh, then um, around 4 o'clock, I was like, ugh, I really want to know my, my car, my car, you know, and I need it for work tomorrow. I've got to go to work tomorrow, because I took a whole day off from work for this, and called, and he goes, well, we've been working up for like 30 minutes, and we can't find the flat, and we don't know air's coming out, but we just can't tell where, something like that, something kind of ridiculous, he goes, I, I mean, we're just really busy, and I'll call you, I'll call you when we get it done, I was like, all right, and then, it was almost, I mean, I was starting to get upset about 5.30, I was like, oh, this, oh, you know, because I have a hard time with mechanics, I've had some horrible experiences, remember the video I made about them stealing my car motor, well, um, I've had a lot of worse, a lot, well, no, that's probably the worst, but I didn't know about it at the time that it happened, but I've had horrible experiences with mechanics, and it's, sometimes it's just hard, sometimes when a woman brings a car in, and they kind of, you know, I needed a tire changed, or either could they fix the flat, which takes about 15 minutes on a tire machine, you know, I've fixed, I've had to go get flats fixed dozens of times, so I know how long it takes. And so, out of the whole day, they could not stop and either fix the tire quickly, you know, because I wanted to go to work, you know, after lunch. I texted my boss, and I was like, 
I'll probably be there after lunch. But I couldn't. You know, I had to text him back or call him back and tell him, mm, I live in a small town. There's only one place that can do it, and they're so backed up. And I don't have anybody that can just, you know, take me to the other town where there are other, other mechanics. And and she was like, oh, that's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. And I was, but I, I feel guilty because I don't like to call in. I don't like to do anything like that, miss work or anything like that, you know, unless I'm absolutely you know, you know, in the worst condition, you know, that I can't show up, and, or if it's a family emergency, that's the only reason I don't go to work, and finally, about 10 minutes till 6, he calls me and tells me, well, we're, we got it, but, well, we had to put the spare on, and, well, I had called him before, one more time, in between the last time I called him, I said, if you can't fix it, just put the spare on there, I've got to go to work tomorrow, just slap the spare on there, and that's fine, and, he was like, well, we're working on it, we're working on it. And so then they finally called me about 10 minutes till 6 and said it's ready. And they, they brought it to my house. And, you know, I hate to be a horrible, a Karen or whatever. You know, I don't want to be that because I'm not like that. But I told him, I said, y'all need to hire more people, okay? Because it took a whole day for y'all to change a tire. And I missed a whole day of work, you know. I'm not trying to be a horrible person, but I'm just, you know, and he was really a nice guy. He really was, but he charged me $10. I asked him how much it was. It was $10, you know, which I think it should have been free for the amount of time and the fact that I took a whole day off for my job. You know, that's a courtesy thing that he should have done as a mechanic. Just change the tire quickly or not charge me. If it takes a whole day for you to change a tire you know, or even look for, I, I, I just, I'm so, I mean, it cost me over a hundred dollars to get this tire fixed. That's ridiculous, you know. I'm so mad. I had my cheeseburger. I was hungry too. I wanted to, I didn't want to, I already ate once, but I was, I, I just was so riled up and I was walking around the house and I was at the Right before he called, I was like, oh, I'm going to tell him something. I'm going to, uh, you know. <laughs> I was so exhausted. I tried to sleep, but I couldn't. And I, when I don't go to work because of a stupid situation like that, it just, it burns me up. I just can't stand that, you know. And I've had numerous situations like that in my life. And I really wish I had two cars. Oh, this happens all the time. I'm <laughs> sorry. There's another car up there, and I, I didn't want to turn, I turn my lights off because I don't want them to think that I'm signaling them or anything. <laughs> it's real foggy out here. It's real dark. I stopped. I got my cheeseburger. I stopped at the park so I could eat real quick, and it's so foggy. It looks like the hook hand man might be running around here, you know, the one in the scary stories. It, it's so, so foggy. You can't hardly see I mean, I can barely see, like, a few trees in the park. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so hungry. Mm. But. I get really frustrated with mechanics because I've had so many bad situations. And I kind of feel like sometimes I get put to the side because I'm a woman. And I know that it's happened to me. A lot of times and I've had to call I had this happen to me before with a battery I took it there it was at I mean it was at Sears a long time ago they shut down in our city so I'll, I'm gonna say the name but they're not you know in business anymore I don't think I think they shut down anyway I took a my car there about 7 30 in the morning and I stayed there and I just needed the battery to be changed out which I know how long it takes to change a battery. I can do it myself. Now, I learned how to do it after that happened. And the manager, who was probably like two weeks away from retirement, he was like, oh, we'll we get it done, we'll get it done, you know, like that. And I kept checking, and I was sitting in the lobby there because I drove my car in myself, and I had to stay there. And around a couple hours went by, and I was like, have y'all... Are they working on my battery? And 
oh, we're, we're getting to it. And it went about another hour and another hour. And then it was like around three or four o'clock. I was like, I've been here all day. This other person walked in and he goes, oh, we'll get, okay, yeah, yeah, just pull your car up right here, you know. I got livid. I was so mad. I was like, I have been here all day waiting for a battery. I just went off on him, you know, like a crazy lady, like a Karen. <laughs> but I've had situations like that. I was like, how can you just disregard me for that? You know, and, you know, I don't, I don't understand that. I mean, ugh. starting to get like a headache and a migraine. I was so stressed out from it. And I don't know. I hate dealing with mechanics when something happens in my car. It just, uh, like, my whole inside just, oh, uh, just crumble, you know. I'm like, oh, no. I have to go talk to a mechanic. <laughs> okay, I just wanted to say, tell that little story or my situation for today. I'm exhausted. I, I, I feel like I've worked m way more, like, a 12-hour shift. I feel so stressed and so tired. I mean, I'm just so stressed out from the waiting and the, you know, it's harder to go through that than it is for me to work all day at my job. Okay, I just wanted to vent that, I guess rant or vent about that. Okay, thank you all. Y'all have a good night. Thank you.